Jeter is an eight-year-old uh, female Spade Springer Spaniel um, that came to me for help after she had an ACL surgery on her knee. So the owner came to me looking for additional help to get Jeter to use her limb better. We started with some um, physical rehabilitation and then I recommended adding in acupuncture as well. <gasps> Yay, good girl, it's okay, yay! <laughs> Girl. So you can barely tell she had a surgery on her knee, right? So when I first started treating her, she wasn't bearing weight on that leg. So, yeah. I love my job because it's the best job, I think, in the country. I'm trained formally as a veterinarian, so I went to four years of veterinary school. Um, then I came uh, here to the Animal Medical Center to do uh, additional training after veterinary school. And I worked for about seven years as an emergency and critical care veterinarian, and I found a need to provide additional help for my patients, particularly the patients that have chronic illnesses that, for example, weren't responding um, in the way that we had hoped with conventional therapies. And so I got first my training in acupuncture, then I got training in canine rehabilitation therapy, so that's very similar to physical therapy in people. And then I got my certification in Chinese herbal medicine. I feel I'm a better veterinarian because I offer acupuncture and herbal therapies and physical rehabilitation. I think here at the Animal Medical Center, the fact that they've embraced these holistic therapies is a, um, is a strong statement on how we're moving forward in the veterinary profession. It's, um, it's something, a move that we've seen in human medicine. A lot of the major <clears throat> human hospitals have integrative medicine um, areas. And, uh, and now at the AMC, we, we are offering integrative medicine as well.